Welcome to Digit Math. Today, we're diving into subtracting two-digit numbers. We've got 10 questions lined up to help you sharpen your subtraction skills. Make sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find it helpful. Let's get started. 91 minus 54 is time to think. 8. Subtract 5 from 8, which equals 3. So the final result is 91 minus 54 equals 37. 86 minus 49 is time to think. 3. So the final result is 86 minus 49 equals to 37. 75 minus 37 is time to think. So the final result is 75 minus 37 equals 38. 85 minus 47 is time to think. 85 minus 47 equals to 38. 94 minus 37 is time to think. 
94 minus 37 equals 57. 67 minus 38 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 7 minus 8. Since it's not possible to subtract 8 from 7, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 6. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 17. Now, we have 17 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 17, which equals 9. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 3 from 5, which equals 2. So the final result is 67 minus 38 equals 29. 52 minus 19 is time to think. In the units column, we have 2 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 2, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 5. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 4 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 12. Now we have 12 in the units column. Subtract 9 from 12, which equals 3. In the tens column, we now have 4. Subtract 1 from 4, which equals 3. So, the final result is 52 minus 19 equals to 33. Sixty-five minus eighteen is time to think. In the units column, we have five minus eight. Since it's not possible to subtract eight from five, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have six. We take 1 from the tens, leaving 5 in the tens column, and turning the units column into 15. Now, we have 15 in the units column. Subtract 8 from 15, which equals 7. In the tens column, we now have 5. Subtract 1 from 5, which equals 4. So the final result is 65 minus 18 equals to 47. 75 minus 29 is time to think. Let's go to the answer. In the units column, we have 5 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 5, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 7. We take one from the tens, leaving six in the tens column and turning the units column into 15. Now, we have 15 in the units column. Subtract nine from 15, which equals six. In the tens column, we now have six. Subtract two from six, which equals four. So the final result is 75 minus 29 equals to 46. 57 minus 29 is time to think. In the units column, we have 7 minus 9. Since it's not possible to subtract 9 from 7, we need to borrow from the tens column. In the tens column, we have 5. We take one from the tens, leaving four in the tens column, and turning the units column into 17. Now, we have 17 in the units column. Subtract nine from 17, which equals eight. In the tens column, we now have four. Subtract two from four, which equals two. So the final result is 57 minus 29 equals to 28. 10 work everyone. You've just completed 10 subtraction questions with two-digit numbers.
keep practicing to get even better. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digit Math for more fun and learning. See you in the next lesson.